Belgrade City Museum, sorry. Uh, and Mihailo is going to be our translator and, and co-guide, I guess. Kind of think of a guide, yeah. Yeah, and you're an archaeologist. Yeah, well. I'm a master student. Yeah. Right, fantastic. Right, okay. So, um, this is our, so this is, <laughs> this is us, our group. There's a few more people still to come, but I think we might just start. You, know, you guys have waited. All Australians. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh, actually, this. <laughs> 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 yeah. So we're really, really grateful. First of all, we have to be quite careful. You know, yeah, so I mean, you, you know, you we have to like, if you want to get down, yeah. Uh, I, I suggest that like you go in one row, one column, yeah, because it's quite narrow and you know it's quite slippery, and you're going to get your feet. Dirty, but uh, everything quite kills. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest well, Misha, Misha's profile. He's longer here than I am. He knows a bit more. Well, here we are seeing a very unique thing in the archaeology of Belgrade because uh, what we are seeing is a water collector, and we are seeing. Um, you know, how Belgra ancient Belgrade, which was located in the fortress, uh, used to collect its water. I mean, ancient Belgrade, the fortress in the military thing, was on the Belgrade fortress, but ancient Sindhidunum was all over around, yeah. all around the fortress and all that. So this is very unique because we are seeing, you know, on a macro level, this sewage system, you know, ha ha uh, water acquisition system, which was going all the way from Mali Mokilu, which is really on the periphery of Belgrade and all that. And when the archaeologists were excavating this, I was only present there. When they were excavating this particular object, I was there just like you as a fool, then, because I was writing my thesis. I still am. And I came over here uh, by the courtesy of my colleague Dushan, who invited me over here to excavate. And it was first believed it was two, but it wasn't. It was a water collector for rain and all these things. And um, it's very unique because you don't see these things, you know, preserved on such a level. And it's quite sad that the investors are going just to devastate it for the most. We are going to see this only in the books. We are not in the EU, so sadly. I hope we are. <laughs> so, Milo, that's the biggest question that came up when I advertised it. Everyone was like, is it not going to preserve at the museum? Are they going to well, glass over it? Yeah. How is, or is it a garage that's going to be literally put right on top of it? What's the plan? <laughs> Can I just sadly not? Yeah, and you're going to make agreements, yeah? yeah. And it is what it is. You have to be stored. If you want to be an archaeologist in Serbia, you have to be very stored. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you have to be talking about this for really years. Excavate and say bye bye. It's not really, it's not really a coincidence that Marcus Aurelius, you know, the historic emperor, he died in Serbia actually. You know, runs 70 kilometers west from Belgrade in uh, Sremska Mitrovica, and. Was he a prophet of a kind? We don't really know, but it really does the job. So yeah, it's very unique and it's no glass floors, sadly. But you're going to love Belgrade regardless of that. Yeah, let's just ignore it and go on. <laughs> <laughs> the actual stones, it's also going to be big. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. We have a garage and water. Uh, absolutely, yeah, it's not here. Of course it is. And you can find all more with the Belgrade like when you do. Digs of these things, yeah. You can like find like, clay pipes or clump pipes, so you can actually find a pot that has a sort of Yes, Mali Mokulu, which is located six miles uh, east of Sermion, uh, it was called Ad Sextum Miliarem. It was also like they were getting it wasn't excavated, but we are trying to find where it is. It's probably located on one higher point. Absolutely, it is absolutely yeah, elevated. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. It is elevated. And when you go, sorry? We are both water. Yeah, 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 we could use it here. <laughs> so this is particularly interesting for you, come on. Let's go on.
water guy but I highly doubt it's all you are <laughs> and we can go over there see it's probably the highlight not because I was excavating over there okay. but because it's <laughs> objectively you, the most clearly interesting thing on the side <laughs> yes so you don't break your neck there and it has I, I guarantee it has nothing to do with me and you tell me German approach to archaeology, which is like, you know, description, huge tables of material, you know, very, let's say, esoteric if you're not um, somebody from the side. And it's like Anglo Saxon approach to archaeology. Well, you, you actually tell a story. And when you excavate a site like this, when you, you don't have like these dramatically beautiful finds, you know, for, for these expensive picture books which nobody reads in the same shelves, <laughs> you have to create a story. And we really did. So we do have like this sarcophagus with no decorations, no finds whatsoever, only one small spottery shirt. Well, the thing is, over there at the Boulevard Street was where the main Roman road went, yeah? And it was, you know, this Roman necropolis was, you know, let's say quite exposed. And, you know, pe human nature doesn't really change through times. And they were robbing it. And uh, we actually have here one very nice example of robbery. We don't really know when the robbery happened because, you know, robbers don't tend to not to leave traces of the robbery. So they were quite good at it. Mm. And, but we do have this sarcophagus. Do you see this hole over there? Mm -hmm. When we were excavating this sarcophagus, we had no skeleton in it. And that's because the guys or girls, let's be gender neutral, <laughs> they them. They destroyed this sarcophagus, made a hole, took, you know, if you, if you had, you know, money to, to create, to, to build sarcophagus for yourself or your loved ones, you, you know, you weren't really the poorest of the poorest. You know, you, you had some cash in your pockets, yeah, or in bags, and you had something of uh, importance there, like, I don't know, glass bottles or, or golden gilded thingies, whatever, but we didn't find them because the guys took it already. But we have this hole over here. Don't follow me, don't do this up here. We have this, but over here, we have this bone, which clearly shows that they would, you know, just shows the activity of robbing. They would just like, took what they had of value, you know, glass things, you know, gold, cash, whatever, we don't really know because it is here. And they were just like, you know, putting the skeleton, you know, just trashing the bones out, you know, just being really wild. And, you know, this is part of the sarcophagus as well. And, yeah, that's, that's part of the, So this is, even though we don't have finds, but we do have one, you know, demonstration of archaeology, one, one activity in the past, which happened all over the time, you know. The past isn't so beautiful and romantic, like everybody was smart, wearing togas, reciting the Iliad. You know, there were people just like, like just like us, like eating, burping, and all these physiological things. Robbing! <laughs> is that everything of the human remains? <laughs> yes, yes, yes it is. Maybe some animal took it, right? You know, the you know curious... which bone it is? Uh, Arm? Human. <laughs> I don't really know. Sorry, no, no. No, 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 I believe it's. Uh, I think it's a uh, leg, femur. 
Ooh. But I'm not really sure. Tiny one, tiny one, tiny one. Tiny yeah, one. Yeah. And not a very tall person. Either. No, they were very small. But this one, no. To be honest, this They're sarcophagus, tall. which yeah. we were excavating, uh, it's quite deep and quite wide. The other sarcophagus, you know, the first one we were excavating over there, we're going to go over there. It's um, more shallow mm -hmm. and I believe a bit more um, no. less yeah. wide. Tighter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's about it. Yeah, we don't really have some interesting, but we do have an interesting activity from the past, which is equally important as these fancy finds for. There was say, no inscription. Books in nothing, absolutely nothing, nothing. There were. What's interesting, really, we, on this site, we did find three inscriptions, mm -hmm. but and, and one of them fascinating find. Sadly, it's too destroyed. You're too late. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> over there, uh, there was a tomb, and one of the one of the walls of the tomb was actually a, a reused Roman stella, Roman inscription. Mm -hmm. And we do know, because of that, we do know, what does that tell us? So again, no fancy finds, nothing. But it, it, it's very important for reconstructing the economy, their lives and everything. Why? It shows us three things. First of all, there's nobody to work, you know, to, to carve stone. Secondly, there's no trade, because, you know, so some nasty stuff is going on. And, uh, no trade, no stone, and no um, mining, no, no, no quarries, sorry, no quarries which are functional. So it shows, you know, it clearly shows this absolute disintegration of economy. Yeah, when you have to reuse some ancient monuments and called spolia, spoils. So, again, uh, and, and by because of that, we can somehow date it second half of the fourth century, early fifth, you know, when all the nasty things were happening in the Danube provinces, really, yeah. So that's really interesting. And uh, what did it say? Uh, something about a guy building a monument. You know, some cliche stuff. You know, I'm sorry, ordinary people, ordinary dying, leaving ordinary messages. Some of the no, no, no uh, here, no. here, no, Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they do have inscriptions, yeah, but they, yeah, they do, they do. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I mean, if you have the money to make a huge stone, like, pretty regular sarcophagus, you think you'd, you know, you could be a carver, like, or a, whatever you call it, like, in front of your name. Yeah, yeah, it's happening, yeah, yeah. So, usually, how this quarry thing, oh, sorry, you just cover it. So, did you all see the bone? Yeah. Can you cover it? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. <laughs> but no, uh, no, Oh, so this thing, the lid? Sorry? No, there was a lid, but we took it off so we could access it. We were robbing as well. In a, in a fancy way. We, we rob things as well, we call it science. <laughs> <laughs> so let's just be. So I'm going to be a responsible archaeologist now, and you're going to watch the how I safeguard it. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah just, if, if there is wind over here, so it's, I'm just showing off, really. What yeah. kind of stone is it? So I'm just showing how responsible we are for that. Uh, Alright, this doesn't work. <laughs> That's it. So, here. Um, Mihailo, I know you're probably going to get to it over there. But just to, as Misha mentioned, that it was really interesting that there were three different types of graves in this one. Yes, graveyard, yes, 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 yes. Will you tell us a little bit more about Yes, but when we go over there. Over there, yes, sorry, Well, we don't have finds, but I believe second and third. Second, second and third. third, yeah. We don't have much finds to, to... We didn't do the analysis of anything, we didn't really do, but second and third, really. You know what's the problem is? You know, the, the, the shape of the... The shape of the sarcophagus and the shape of... You know, the absence of inscriptions makes it quite neutral. And, and you know, a bit hard to date, you know, a bit... You know, it's quite neutral. You know, it doesn't have any specifications which would um, make it easy to date. So you can only do it, you know, in these prelim pre preliminary moments of um, research. You can only, you know, just set the like, you know, around 18, you know, nothing too precise, really. So that's the second or third century, I believe, yeah. So we have seen this. Actually, Philomena, is yes. Philomena, yeah? Yes. Lovely name. Uh, so basically, not three, but four types of uh, oh, well, types. Tell us all about four. So this was the first one, the sarcophagi one. Yeah. Which the is the wealthy, the highest, well, most 
Because it's human remains? No, because uh, we don't want to break them. So we know don't walk here. Yeah. And is, we didn't have a red sign, so. Is there any special way to protect human remains? I know in the US there's a big effort now to, if you're digging up a grave, you have to honor the bones or not here. I think we are having here a clash of civilization. <laughs> no, no, nothing really. Yeah. Just toss them out. Huh? No, we, we don't idealize them. We're like, okay, they're yeah. dead. How we all die, yeah, end up. Uh, it's just like you know, grave, and then it, it, it's interesting. Yeah, so again, talking about social centers, yeah. Uh, again, the guy had money for sarcophagus, and there were no fires over there. Nothing. They robbed it, and then we had this grave over here, which probably wasn't even marked because the guy was probably also regular poor bloke, really, and then he. 
what's fascinating, it's one of the only graves where the skeleton was left undisturbed. Mm. So because you know, the, the same, the same grave was there, which was better preserved than this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. My mistake. Sorry. But yeah, those unmarked graves, you know, just like regular grave holes, they. They weren't robbed. Yeah. They weren't robbed. Undisturbed. Like, you know, just like an anatomy textbook, really. You know, just, you can actually say, yes, sir. These things here with the slightly decorative elements, they were the lid or what they said? Probably, yeah. 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 We found it in secondary position, so we, we cannot know. know. Uh, yeah, I was doing more interesting things with spot <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I, I will press my phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this type of um, these curved uh, art vaults, chambers, yeah, uh, they're actually symptomatic for the late antiquity period. So we can actually date these, you know, just by looking at it, you know, so which, which century? Third, fourth. Third, fourth, yeah. Late third, uh, late third, uh, yeah, so that's, that's like, uh, that's quite symptomatic. Mm -hmm. uh, and over here where friends had stepped standing, there used to be a certain hole that you found over there. Yes, yes, yes. Many of these broken bits show the broken bits of oxygen, and it's a nice area to do. No, 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 they just leave them around and maybe some dogs eat them. Or, oh, I see, yes, yeah, something like that. That's the reason why, yeah, you know, it's birds, dogs, who knows? Animals. Uh, I was there when it was excavated. What's that? It's a rest, a rest from the building. Dushan, can you tell more about this yes. interesting festival? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we can have there uh, some... Uh, Let's go over there. Yes. Yes. From so don't fall into the swamp. Eichnan Begova, Eichnan Beg building. And where was the mosque? The mosque was... Yeah. Somewhere there. Sound. We didn't catch it in this frame, so. Ottoman archaeology is just becoming a thing in Serbia, really. There's going to be first doctorate in it, but. Okay. It's not been going to be researched until now. So. It's in its pioneering stages. When was. 
and Serbia was liberated, it was, uh, it was liberated, so... Which was uh, between, in Middle Ages, so it is uh, surprising to us that this point in the city was not settled in the Middle Ages. So that is also useful information for us. Can we just how large and then it just kind of uh, was, the next Yes, this area it was not used for I don't know, that is about a thousand years. Yeah. Yeah. You have a brick there with JP engraved on it. Mm -hmm. Where is it? Uh, it is, I don't know, it is, it is 20th century. Yes, yes. Not with the Romans. It's not. It's not a Roman brick format. So and it's Cyrillic. Yes. <laughs> not Cyrillic. It's. Oh, yes, yes, it was done. Yes. yes. So it's from 20th century. <laughs> What you see here is a Roman excavation in the center of Belgrade. You see the living building here, and then there is a national assembly. There used to be a mosque back in the days. And here are found some sarcophagus, Roman period thumbs, many different types of thumbs. Unfortunately, there will be a parking lot, a parking hall on top of this all, and this will not be saved. The excavation was actually about to end today, 20th of June 23, but uh, they got two weeks extra time, but then the construction begins and this will be destroyed.